What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you a head-to-head -head comparison of the two Xbox 360 models. So on one hand, we've got the new, just announced a few days ago, Xbox 360. I'm going to call it the Xbox 360 Slim. On the other, we've got the outgoing Xbox 360, uh, which in this case is the Black Elite version. So on an aesthetic standpoint, there are clearly a ton of differences with how these two look. Uh, on one hand, the Slim is shiny, it's black, it's thinner, it's got a new design. On the other hand, we've got the outgoing model. It was a bit understated. It had the matte finish, and uh, it was sort of a, a classic design. Whether you loved it or hated it, uh, you're sort of used to seeing it. So it's sort of strange to see a brand new Xbox 360 model. Uh, this one is significantly smaller, lighter, and thinner. And let me go ahead and show you. You can see right here, there's a big difference at the top. And let me show you what that looks like when they're stacked on top of each other. And I'll go over some of the more physical differences between the two. So go ahead and put them right here. And just off the top of the bat, you can see that there's definitely a difference. This one is about an inch, I would say. There we go, about an inch to an inch and a half uh, larger, and that's probably due to the external hard drive that the outgoing model had. In this case, I've got a 120 gigabyte version right here. This hard drive just popped out, and it sort of protruded a bit on top. You can see it right there. Uh, the new one has an internal hard drive, which is still user accessible, but it got rid of this sort of proprietary format, which is nice. You can actually uh, replace the hard drive if you choose. So let's go ahead and look at the front of the devices because there's a lot to talk about here. So on the outgoing model, the power button right down here is actually a physical button. You push it in, you make a clicking noise, the tray would open up. On the new model, it's actually touch sensitive, so there's no physical click. You tap it and the tray will open. You had two memory units, uh, which if you didn't have a hard drive, you could pop in, you know, had a little bit of storage on it, you could access Xbox Live. Uh, that is gone on the new version. Those slots are not there. You do have two USB ports on the bottom, which are sort of recessed. They are still there, two USB ports right on the front. So just on the front, you can definitely see the differences. You've got an IR sensor right there, uh, it's sort of hidden on the new version. This one also is sort of riddled with vents. Vents are everywhere uh, on this new Xbox 360. You've got vents on the side. We've got vents on the top, and sort of in that little diagonal look. Vents on the other side and there's nothing on the back. And speaking of the back, let's talk about the differences here between the two, because there's a lot to, uh, to discuss. Go ahead and put this one on its back. So you can see the outgoing model was sort of shy on ports. It had a USB port, your Ethernet port, HDMI port. Uh, in some cases, some of the older models didn't have that, and that weird proprietary AV port, and a very sort of strange power port. And that was about it. That was all you had. The new model, has a, a bit more going on in the back. It's got a new power button, or a new power port, uses just sort of a two-pronged approach. You've got optical audio, HDMI, that same proprietary port, Ethernet, the new AV port, which is gonna be for the Kinect, which is the motion sensing controller, previously Project Natal, although all older Xbox 360s will be Kinect capable. I assume it would just be a little bit of an adapter. And now three USB ports. And if you want to go wireless, none of these have to be used now with a wireless adapter. This now comes with 802.11n. So if you have a wireless network and using an N, you have very fast internet and very fast data transfers, uh, which is quite nice. So one of the other gripes about the Xbox was the power brick, was that it was huge. The power brick was gigantic and really lived up to its name as being a brick. So let me show you what that looks like and show you a comparison with the new model. Got them right here. So here is the outgoing Xbox power brick. You can see very large. And here is the new one. Still large, but definitely smaller. It actually uses a bit less power as well. So one of the other knocks on the Xbox was that it was quite loud. You could hear the tray spinning. You could hear the fans. I'm going to go ahead and plug both of these in, power them on. I'm going to see if we can hear a difference between the two. All right, so I've got both consoles ready to go here. We're going to start with the outgoing Xbox 360 Elite. There is not a disc installed. I just want you to hear what the normal boot up noise sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this on. And you can definitely hear it sort of spinning. You can hear the fans. And then it sort of quiets down a little bit, but it definitely has some noticeable noise behind it. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. And let's try the new one and see what the difference is here. 
that's it. That's all the noise. It looks for a disc and it gets very quiet. You actually can't hear any sort of fan spinning at all. So let's try putting a disc in and trying to hear what that sounds like. I've got a few right over here. So let's pop in. How about Modern Warfare 2? I'll we'll go ahead and open this up. And there's the eject button. It's just sort of another touch button right at the top. You can hear it spinning. And then it, well, you can hear the fans start to kick in a little bit. Now one of the things you can do with the Xbox 360 is you can actually rip the games right to the hard drive. So this noise that you're hearing with the game, I wouldn't necessarily hear after you've ripped it, but I do want you to sort of get a fair sense of what everything would sound like. So that's what that sounds like. It's certainly quieter than we've heard before. In fact, I'll give you a demonstration of what it sounded like before. So go ahead and turn this sucker off. And actually I can feel it vibrating a little bit with my hands and I can sort of feel the heat coming out and see the fan spinning, but it is definitely quieter. So go ahead and turn this off. And let's try the outgoing model and we will put in a disc as well. I've got Call of Duty World at War here. We'll try that. So we'll turn it on. Pop in the disc and let's see what the noise sounds like here. So there is a noticeable difference with the noise. This is um, maybe about half as loud um, as the newer model. Uh, you can definitely hear it. But again, once you rip the game to the hard drive, it is pretty quiet. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. So anyway guys, I wanted to give you just a quick overview and comparison about the outgoing versus the new Xbox 360 models and see if you thought it was worth an upgrade or not. That's going to be your opinion. Here they are sort of next to each other. You can get a last look about what the differences are, about how they appear. So guys, for all their exclusive Xbox 360 content, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com and of course the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Four Lakers. And also I'll be doing a full comparison of the new Xbox 360 versus the PlayStation 3 and that's the PlayStation 3 fat version. Anyway, for uh, exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I am John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.